Hey guys, Dave here. I'm gonna show you a neat trick I learned of how to make an attribute in the channel box for a parent constraint. Or well, you can actually do it for whatever you need, but in this case, we'll use it in this example. So I have in this scene Stewie and I want him to grab the sign. So I need to make a parent constraint. Okay, I grab the driver, which is the wrist controller shift select the driven which is my object and go to constraint and parent okay I'll check on the option box and be sure to have maintain offset checked so the object won't snap to the the drivers um, pivot point so have it checked also the translate and rotate all have them checked and the weight default value to one okay we add it there we go now, as you can see, if I scroll down in my timeline, the constraint is ready, but I need my controller to turn it on and off in order to animate it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. If you see in your channel box, you have all the attributes except the constraint. I, well, it's over here in parent constraint. So then you click it, it goes down, you have Stewie FK Elrist WO. Um, I had trouble finding it, to be honest, when I first started with this rig. But um, with this tip, it's made my life easier. So what I do is edit, um, add attribute, and here I'll just name it sign underscore constraint and have it as a keyable attribute and go ahead and press OK. So now we have this one here, but right, but it, it doesn't have really a connection because it's just the attribute. We need to link the input node to EFKL wrist WO to the output node sign constraint. So let's go ahead and do that. We go to edit connection editor. We have this set of columns on the outputs. We select the sign constraint attribute we just created, go reload left. And we just go and find it, and it's right here at the bottom. Select it. Then on the input nodes, we'll select this one. Okay, if you just select it right here and go to right, uh, reload, or reload right, you won't be able to find it. So what we have to do is go to window, to hypergraph connections, and as we had it selected, it will appear here. So we just select this one and then reload okay so if we go to the top we see now we have the FP sign parent constraint on this column the input okay and we look for this to EFKL wrist WO it's right here we select it. and now as both texts are slanted this means the connection has been made so we just close it here <clears throat> okay we can close the hypergraph too and if we select the, the object and change the value of the sign constraint attribute we created to 1, notice how as I press enter here, this one will also change. We'll do it go back to 0. And there we go. So now if I go one here and key it and then go back one frame and turn it off, Okay, and if I slide it, I see that the constraint's working as I want it to. And if we go to Graph Editor and select our object, okay, you'll have um, all the translate and rotations displayed with a constraint. But also, at the very end, you have this the the extra attribute we created and it's easier to find it you can simply minimize this ones and have it right there see this one's a visibility and this one's my constraint so well there you go that's the tip of the day I hope you guys liked it and if you guys 
Um, no, uh, a better way to do this or a different method to have a, a constraint controller. Uh, it'd be much appreciated if you guys could give me a feedback and I'll learn to do it and I'll for sure do another tutorial with a better or another different idea of constraints. Well, till next time, you guys keep rocking, keep animating and mostly have fun. Cheers!